Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video here dealing with some of the things kind of indirectly. I've redone this video now. This is the second time I've done it. I don't want to, I want to do some more research into Revelation 12 before I go too deep with it. But I wanted to, if nothing else, show that it definitely appears as though that NASA is redacting images. So this basically starts back with Revelation 12. So I'm going to open my Logos Bible software. I don't have any basic package or base package. I just have a few books that I've purchased along the way. And I'm able to read those through here and do some cool stuff. So anyway, this is Revelation 12. And this is the woman, the child, and the dragon. Uh, this is the NET version. And then War in Heaven. And it basically, I'm not going to read through all this just for the sake of, of keeping this shorter. Um, but it talks about a woman clothed with the sun at the moon and the moon at her feet. And she had, uh, her head was a crown of 12 stars. She was pregnant. She's basically getting ready to give birth. And there was a huge red dragon that was waiting for her to give birth so that he could devour the child. The woman gave birth to a male son who is to rule over all nations with an iron rod. And then we go into War in Heaven with Michael fighting against the dragon. And here's uh, where it calls out the dragon uh, is Satan. Uh, so the huge dragon, ancient serpent, the one called the devil, Satan, deceives the whole world, was thrown down to earth and his angels along with him. Okay. Now, this is dealing with Virgo and uh, a particular alignment where the moon is at her feet and she's clothed with the sun. Okay. Now, I have heard that Google Sky has some redacted images on here of that particular area. So I'm going to show you here. I've already done a search. This is the coordinates right here. I'm going to put these in the description here so you can do this yourself along with this link. If you click on historical and you find Virgo, okay, right here. Now that we know that we're in the area, she's giving birth, so it'll be down in here around the legs. We're going to flip over to the infrared. And lo and behold, there is a square black box right in that area so now you can see some other black areas here of the sky but if you look these you know kind of seem to be expected I guess less I'll say suspicious um, I think this is actually and I've not searched all this but I believe this is the only one uh, that is set up this way, that is blacked out here. And it's on the infrared section. So, why is this blocked out? Well, I went to NASA onto their Sky View, Sky Query form. I'll have this link in the description field. And I selected all of the, I've went through all these here so far. So, I'm going to just show you the ones that I found to be the most interesting here. So the IR right here for infrared, the IRAS, which I can't tell you what that means offhand. I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, I suppose we could do a quick Google search if we're fast about it. Uh, infrared astronomical, astronomical satellite, the infrared astronomical satellite. So there you go. Okay, now if we come down into here, and we need to get our coordinates, which we already have filled in. Same as the ones we have over in Google Sky. We hit Submit Request. This will take a second to generate these images. And you can download the FITS image the, here, uh, where you can get the JPEG for kind of a quicker view. This requires a special reader. And I did find one that was free. You may just kind of want to look around and see for yourself. So here we go. If you'll notice, there's a black square. If you go down, there it is. 
go on down here it is again this is basically the higher resolution or the higher zoom levels as well uh, from what I'm able to interpret uh, this seems to be rather obvious to me uh, that something is being done here so if uh, we zoom I can't yeah, let's just go back for now uh, now if you look at this one it's not blacked out but notice there's a circle kind of a perfect circle right in that area that looks as though it's been zoomed into the level uh, to a level which distorts uh, or Gaussian blur possibly I've not done any in image analysis just yet uh, this one here is uh, mostly cleared out I mean there it's obviously rather difficult to read at least right now the fits image might give you a little more information because you can change the light levels here here's two dots okay we're starting to get something okay here's here's the best one I found so far actually no I'm sorry it was this one so if you look you've got two dots here and here and a row that goes across here now I want to show you something this is the best one that I found and it's not redacted however some of them are as you can see through here the same as Google Sky notice the red line or the line right here there's a dot and the rest of it's kind of blown out so if we come over here and we just do a quick search for revelations red dragon and you go to images and then pull this up real quick you can see here on this one and if you look right here this is one of the better ones from uh, a guy that I follow very closely as well Trey Smith at God in a nutshell um, but I you can see it here I'm trying to find a little bit better one this one's not too bad this is what I personally saw uh, in this image I found it very uh, it, oops uh, that one's pretty good okay I'll stop clicking around here so we can I can show you what I'm talking about what I looked at was these two dots here and here I'd like to get a little bit bigger zoom level this one here I guess will work for now to me I looked at this instead of two eyes here and here I looked at it as if this was this is what I saw this line right here has a mouth this as a nostril this area right here as a head and if you look at it from that perspective this looks like a giant a giant head of something um, you know you can interpret that however you choose that's how I saw it myself um, trying to find a little bit better zoom level something that so there are some images out on the web that you can find uh, which apparently were retrieved before something happened to them at NASA apparently I don't know why they're in the state they are I could speculate uh, but I can't tell you for certain so if you look at this one uh, let's go back here real quick here we go right there now look at the ones from NASA here these are the redacted ones scroll on down you can see a little bit of it look at this one right here same image to me this looks like a mouth and a couple of nostrils and a head I mean I'm not saying there's a giant space dragon but what I am saying is this resembles something I could I saw something of interest there interpret it for yourself uh, I will include some links in the description to NASA's website Google Sky as well and logos Bible software uh, which I hope to have a base package someday for uh, something good and usable but anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll have some more content coming out soon thanks